19-year-old singer-songwriter Ayana Lee just joined us on We Found You Music, playing some brand new songs. We're really excited about these unreleased tracks that you played, and we feel special, so special to have you live on the stream. We're so excited. Now, your debut single, Thrilla Thrilla with KSI, third most added new song on U.S. radio, 700,000 monthly listeners, uh, six weeks in the U.K. charts. Yeah. You must be ecstatic. You must be so excited. What a great way to get started here. Uh, I mean, you know, despite having only two songs out there, you know, you've, you've already gained tons of streams and followers on, on Spotify. So congrats to you. 
uh, what do you think is is resonating here? What do you think people are latching onto and connecting with so much during, you know, even it's a hard time, but people are really listening. I think Kill It, Kill It, or Thrilla, Thrilla. Yeah. Uh, I think the song is very empowering. Mm -hmm. uh, even when I put it on, it's just that kind of badass, like, I don't care what I've, anybody thinks of me. This is who I am. I'm presenting this to you. And I feel like more people, um, need to just let loose and not not care about others others opinions of them um so i think it's a very you know it's a very pop track and i think that sometimes when something is really pop or very commercial people forget that it's actually something with a message and something that actually is still empowering um so i think that resonates with people um especially right now so so true. It's a fun tune. It's a fun tune. You get up, you feel like moving as soon as it comes on. Um, so I was not expecting it to blow up the way it did at all. It was, I think it, it, it was a surprise um, for sure. But uh, the fact that so many people have supported me throughout this whole journey and, and the growth has been insane. It's, it's just it, in a few weeks, it just everything kind of blew up and it was not expected at all. Um, so I just, you know, want to thank the fans and anybody who's watching who's been supporting me <laughs> because yeah, it's, it's been really show. getting a lot of attention. And, and this is just the beginning for you. Obviously, you have more tracks on the way, which you oh. just showcased for us a little bit tonight, which is yes. just amazing. Um, and also tell, tell me about coming from uh, a family with so much musical talent and um, how is that? Uh, affected your sound and and growing up around music well you know my day uh, my my uncle was David Ruffin from the Temptations and his whole story was insane and um, Motown and that whole vibe as well it's just uh, that definitely has influenced me a lot but especially I think out of everybody my mom has actually influenced me when it comes to music and writing and the way I write and She's successful as well. She's 17 times platinum and she wrote If You Come Back and a bunch of hits in the UK. So for me coming from this crazy musical family, it, it, it really paved the way for me to be confident and grow as a writer. And even, you know, my mom took me on tours and it was the most insane, wow. insane journey for me. And it was so fun. And I was like, let me get on that stage real quick. <laughs> it started to be that kind of thing. And I was like, oh shit, like, I'm in love with music. I'm in love with singing. I'm in love with the whole process. I got to see her bring in people um, in her studio and see the process and how things come out and all that kind of stuff. And for me, it was kind of like um, lightning struck. You know what I mean? Um, so it's been it's been insane. But especially my mom, honestly, uh, she's inspired me every step of the way and to <laughs> keep going no matter what. She's a multi platinum singer songwriter. Yeah, she's saying, and she came from her own story of, you know, for me, she's so inspirational because she came from Romania and at the time there was a revolution going on and then she came wow. to the UK with a political asylum. She saw bullets and all this stuff. She went from, uh, you know, the streets of London not speaking English and, and becoming a number one songwriter. So for me, if she can do it, anybody can do it. Um, and well, that's it's great to see the passions there with you as, as well in music. Quite yeah. <laughs> Which is important as well, because I feel like a lot of people who come from musical families uh, are either pushed into it. I've seen that so many times, especially in L.A. Um, and it breaks my heart because it was something that I was gravitated towards. It was something I was was going in the studio. I was like, uh, Mom, I think it's time for me to record. <laughs> I, think, I think it's time for you to <laughs> talk awesome. to everyone else. I think it's time for me to come through. Um, well, sounds so I, like you're ready. Yeah, it needs to be something you're passionate about. Sounds Doesn't like you're happen. ready. Yeah, you're passionate about it. At 19 years old, you're ready to take over the world. Uh, <laughs> now, you just recently did something very unique. You recorded a music video while in lockdown uh, with someone who's completely on the opposite side of the world. Please tell us all about this. <laughs> well, that's actually insane uh, <laughs> the fact first of all that that's even possible that you can do this is yeah. to me mind-blowing um you know a lot of people still think that we were like in the same place and all that kind of stuff and even when you look at the video the the crew and everybody who put together the lighting and the scenery and all that stuff to make it cohesive 
a shout out to them because they've really made it look like we're in the same place. So, um, but for, I mean, there were so many precautions taken. Like everyone was wearing a mask. The makeup artist was wearing a mask. Um, and I, I've, it's, it's standard protocol, I guess, for every music video that's being shot right now. Um, but it was definitely a different experience because <laughs> you're like, everyone's wearing a mask except me. Okay, this is right. really crazy. I'm living through a global pandemic and making a music video. It's something that not a lot of people get to say. That's right, you're making um, it happen. Yeah, but it's been made, it, it, it was, you know, it still happened. It was something that was so freaking fun to do. It was an eight hour shoot, which it doesn't look like that when you see it online. Um, but a lot of these videos take so much time and, and creativity and uh, effort and all that stuff. So whoever edited it, the lighting, all that stuff, the directors were incredible. Yeah. Um, and of course, KSI, I mean, he fucking was insane in that. Um, so yeah. It's up now, so go check out the video. But you know, I wanted to get a little insight of, on how you did it in this tough time. Yeah, yeah. but I showed up to set and I actually did not know what was gonna happen. I didn't know anything. I went into it completely <laughs> blind. I got there and I was like, so, <laughs> Okay. What we doing today? What's happening? And they were like, "Well, you're gonna be a spy. Uh, you're gonna be a little 007 for us." I was like, "Okay, okay. let's fucking go." Well, you're up for an adventure, and an adventure it was. <laughs> yeah, I feel like not a lot of videos these days have a story to them. Mm -hmm. um, I see a lack thereof, and uh, with this, it was exciting because there was actually a storyline to it. It was captivating. I watched it from an outsider's perspective. A lot of people have said this too, that it's such a, uh, a kind of, um, it's something very fresh to, to have that storyline come back. So I, I yeah. see that more with music videos. I love that when a music video has a storyline. Yeah. It's, you know, it's like a, a mini movie. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. You know? exactly. Well, that wraps, you know, that, that takes us back to what we were talking about at the beginning. Thriller Thriller is out now. Check out the music video. Check out Ayarna. Stream, stream. you have music coming out, correct? And yes, I have a lot of music coming. I'm very excited. Ah, it's, um, it's, very, it's very soon, very soon. It is on its way. I'm in the studio every day and uh, have an amazing team. And, and uh, it's, it's definitely going to be something to watch out for. I'm That's excited. That's right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Where's the best place to follow you on this journey? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Ianalee Official. Uh, that's A I Y A N A L E E Official. Um, and I, I was gonna say something else, but I guess <laughs> I guess that's it. I don't really have a YouTube or anything, so you can follow me there. Just stick with her on Instagram for now. So thank for you now. so much. <laughs> What's that? We'll keep it there for now, for now. Let's keep it all there right now, but go stream the video, stream it like yeah. you all have been, and request it, right? Request it for radio and, for now. And request it, so. Cool, well thank you so much for taking the time, Yarna, and uh, you're always welcome back on We Found New Music.